What's up, everybody? It's Blaze. It's Donable. Back again for another one. Got a request looking again in my inbox. And um, basically, the other chick versus the main squeeze. Yeah. So, what's the point of a stud slash femme trying to get with someone, but they have a girlfriend already? Mm -hmm. mm. Very controversial. Very, very good request. Okay. You want me to start first? Sure. Okay. Well, okay. One, are we talking uh, femme doing the same thing too, or are we talking just studs? Well, you can speak with studs, I speak with the femme. Okay. All right. Well, well, one thing for leaving your main squeeze, you have a good reason for one. Usually. Now, if you're just a dirty bastard, you know what I'm saying? And you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm chasing after every fam. I'm trying to be a player because you all know who you are, who on this player shit right now because y'all been hurt. You know what I'm saying? But um, in my opinion, I know from from experiences that usually if you're leaving your main squeeze, is for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? Usually. Unless you fucked up and then your main squeeze is dumping you. You know what I'm saying? But then again, uh, if you are with your main squeeze and cheating or in a relationship with another chick while you're with your main squeeze, then uh, hmm. I guess I don't have much to say about that. But uh, I can think it is fucked up. It's fucked up to be <laughs> in a <laughs> Okay. Now, to be honest, um, I don't think there is a particular point, but there are some factors I feel that a femme may leave her main squeeze stud for someone else. Um, now if the, now also particular I understand may squeeze as being a person you've been with you know, for a while, you actually have a bond with, and you are, you know, well accustomed to mutual. If you happen to leave your main squeeze because of problems such as they're not making you happy, or they've been doing something for so long that you probably put up with and want to leave, that's a legitimate reason. If you're not happy, that is legitimate also. Yeah. But I also feel that it'll be more legitimate if, you know, you actually explain to your stud or your main squeeze, explain to your main squeeze exactly what's not making you happy. Maybe they can fix it. You never know. That's why you give them chances. They are your main squeeze. However, if you just happen to leave them just because you want to fuck with everybody, like I say, you're just being a dirty little hoe, you know, a roller, 18 wheeling, no brakes. Um, I don't speak for that, and I feel that's just something that's an excuse. That's it's, it's petty, it's an excuse, it's trifling, not something that I can get with. Well, I don't have any experiences to base, you know, why I might left my main squeeze and whatnot, but majority, if there were any occurrences, majority of the time, I was not happy. Well, I, I can say, I can speak for the, you know, the studs out here who have, um, I wouldn't say left, but of course, like I said, the way this is asking, she's asking you're in a relationship still with your main squeeze and got that other chick too. You know what I'm saying, and I would say with that is that's that's some that's some hard shit because I think when it gets to that point, you can't particularly say bye to either one of them. You see what I'm saying? Like at that point when you got both of them involved, it's like you done have you have these all long time feelings for your main squeeze. and then you got these newer feelings and emotions for this new this other chick. You know what I'm saying? You got one, you have to think about who is more important when it comes to choosing. That's if your uh, main squeeze still wants you back after all the stuff has happened, you have to choose because that's just how it is. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. So it is wrong to definitely have another chick. Really, the right thing to do, like the saying goes, you should always close one door before you open the other one. So if you choose to leave your your femme or your main squeeze or whoever for reasons that are very personal, for reasons that you could not handle and your happiness was at stake. And I say make sure that when you do leave that person, close the door all the way. And don't, you know, stay halfway in the door just in case the next thing don't work out. Just close it all the way. And if you lose whatever, if she was come back, it's meant to be yours anyway. So, you know, uh, just make sure whatever y'all do, y'all close the door first. 
before you move on to the next. And if you accidentally do that, you know what I'm saying, you gotta tell somebody the truth or at least get some feelings out on the deck so everybody knows what's going on. Whether your main squeeze, you still want to be with them or whether the other chick, you still want to be with them. As far as I can say, I do agree with the Honorable on that point. Um, the boundary of the relationship and being outside single again is just like a door. You know, you can stand inside the door, keep warm, of course, with your main squeeze and whatnot, and actually build a house. Or you could just have that door open and you looking outside. Just remember, anything can fly in because you have that door open. As if a regular door was open. Anything could fly in or something can happen out of because of outside forces. However, if you go outside the door and you shut it all the way, that means you're on that side. You know, unless you have a certain tab with the person on the other side, there's really no turning back. And there really shouldn't be any turning back unless it's just for a visit and not to stay. Just think of it as your life, wherever you go live. When you, from when you leave your parents' house to the rest of your life. Once you leave out, really, you don't want to turn back to your parents. Right. Once you leave. That's just like once you leave your main squeeze and whatnot, once you leave and you actually, you know, disestablish what you guys had and whatnot because you're actually closing the door all the way, it's cool. You can always come back and visit, but not come back to stay unless you two come on mutual terms as if also your parents and you will move it back in. Right. So, um, for films, trying to have their cake and eat it too, that's not right. There are a lot of studs out here really who, you know, are dealing with girls who are doing the same shit actually have another stud on the side while they have them a lot of studs are you know getting heartbroken and actually changing their minds and opinions about certain films because of that so i can't say for the ones who are fucking it up the films you know you brought it on yourself and y'all just it's stupid it's straight stupidity and it's ignorance however i do feel do not have two at one time do not have your cake and eat it too well, I've been seeing a lot lately on these blogs I've been reading because I do go on and I read most people's blogs that are new and I definitely try to support them. So I hope, you know, everybody's trying to do the same thing. But I've been reading these blogs lately where people were saying that, you know, they've been so hurt by that person that they was in love with and they were all in love and, you know, this person left them and they just feel so like they was hurt and done in and all that. And um, a lot of them saying they wanted to go and be players. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people say, okay, it's not worth it. And some people saying it is. Well, I can say this. Being a player is is okay for a little while, but it's not going to get you them long-term results you're looking for. Because if you be a player, that means you're going to mess over this girl, this girl, that girl, and this girl. And you done passed four girls, and one of them could have been the one for you. One of them could have been your soulmate. But because you was on player status at that moment in time, you know what I'm saying, you could have lost her. Or you will lose her. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's not always good. Sometimes you got to keep your heart preserved and take the heartbreak for, for what it is, you know, because uh, most people are who come in your life as a leaf, they be on there, they fly away, okay, they gone. You just got to let them go. And if it comes back, it always means so much more. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, everybody just try to make things right with whoever you with. And if that don't work, at least look for another soulmate. And don't quit on being faithful. Put it that way. So I can say the verdict on this topic, the other chick versus the main squeeze. Um, what's the point of a stud slash fam trying to get with someone else but they have a girlfriend? I can say just look out for your happiness. So I say do what makes you happy but right. give yourself that understanding and that strength to believe that what you are doing is right if right. it is for your happiness. If it is. So um, once again been another video don't worry we will have more and we're going to be on the road because we are going to be traveling in the months to come so we definitely will be sending you all videos and posting you videos of our journeys and everything so again this is blaze this is donna and we signing off and this is what's hiding the streets all right